come and check it out. Right, now we have sitting down the one and only elegant Matt. BB Smash Dudes elegant. Yeah, BB Smash Dudes. I I'm really happy that BB Smash Dudes have gotten so big. They you definitely see the effort in their videos and they go they go so in, man. I I've learned so much about the game from BB Smash Dudes. So Same. if you guys haven't checked out their YouTube channel, look them up. You you will learn so much things. And they also have like fun stuff too, like combo videos. Yeah. Too. I have a funny story with BB Smash Dudes. I teamed with Vic at a SCR Saba who's he plays uh, Mario, right? Yes, he plays yeah. Mario. And we're playing against K9 and Tyrant. And he gets shield broken and I do a PK fire that saves him. Uh -huh. In the middle of the sentence, like, did you see the video that I came out with with, one of, with some of the best saving characters, like Dubs characters? And he said Ness's PK fire is one of the best. It's like, <laughs> you get hit by anything, PK fire saves you. Yeah. And that's exactly what I did. We actually won that set and I had a really good time playing with him. <laughs> that's how you see it. Yeah, it was <laughs> awesome, man. I had to play the game for so long. We, just, we went in. That, that's how good. <laughs> but now, got Elegant here. Grand Finals, winner side of Grand Finals. He already took out Charlie once. We'll do it again. Especially when you get to this upper echelon of SoCal, it starts getting really competitive. I'm Larry, uh, top 10 PR hey, player. Only and on Smashville. <laughs> yeah. Smashville being small, he's able to... Ooh, oh, doesn't get the right <laughs> angle, though. And Elegant being number 11 on the uh, last version of the PGR, and I believe Charlie... Oh, really? Yeah, he's 11. <laughs> Cal's so stacked. Man. Yeah, and then Charlie's no like here. 32 or 33 around there. There's no way he makes this stuff. Yeah, he made a jump. I don't think he had the down beat either. Yeah. You only get one down beat in the air. Um, Charlie able to smack him out of all the resources. And to be fair, side B and down B very laggy. So you can punish it. But the way Elegant positions himself is like... Wow. Luigi Fox, guys. Very volatile. Um, that was an unorthodox. Right there, though. Yeah. yeah. And it almost looked like it wouldn't have killed, but Elegant making it work, as always. And Elegant actually really advanced the mashing meta. He he can control when he mashes. So like there's like a full like a full blown mash, and then there's like like stall out, then go full blown. Like I, I've talked to him many times before, and he, there's so many different variants of mashing, and like it's insane. Yeah, kudos to him to not only realize that he has that option, but to also be able to utilize it. You know, that's, yeah, that's very impressive, and it's stuff that like kind of flies under the radar that. You know, other players and commentators wouldn't really realize. Obviously, you know what's going on. So. Right, right. Definitely try to talk to these players as much as I can. And, I mean, even like the, these guys are really nice. That's the, one of the coolest thing about um, just like local scenes. You know, the, the, these guys are out here. They're, they're even like pretty much. You'll, you'll probably play them in tourney yeah. and play them in friendly. You can just kind of chill out. You know, they're just people at the end of the day. So it's a really fun environment. Yeah, I've had the pleasure of playing out a couple times. He took my money, but it was worth it. Yeah, it was fun. And you're, you're not, you're like him and Konkon are pretty much like the, the top of the crop. Uh, Luigi, you're gonna get the practice. So. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I was, I, oh, that was deep though. Oh, he's got his double jump. He still has his down B. Yep. He's very capable of making it back. And... Well, maybe not. <laughs> maybe, um, maybe he has to down B instead of doing that second. Uh, yeah, I want to know if he actually wanted that. Or... Yeah, it it could have been a missing foot, cause, cause like when he when he down beats, oh dang, that force match is so strong. Dang. Charlie thought he had that grab punish, but the micro spacing there from L, getting that air on shield and the charge board mass goes off the top. Is that a perfect for the back though? Yep. Nice. Yeah, uh, I believe Elegant plays default. So yeah, I'm not gonna have those perfect pivot tilts. He he does do like perfect pivot and smash attacks though. Yeah. Oh no. Definitely he, he, he meant to land on the stage, on the stage there, yeah. yeah. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> now what do you want? So it's funny because um, Elegant will go for all these crazy taunts. He'll go for the misfires. And even like in the carpool here today, I was talking with Rides and Blurry Face. And I was like, when you think about it, I feel like Elegant was uh, raised on For Glory. Because that's like people, that's what like the stuff people do on For Glory. Facts. Yeah. yeah, and he like, he totally does that. In bracket, oh man! I'd <laughs> love to to know the oranges, uh, the origins of Elegant. To be honest, like I, I just need like a like a personal video where he just tells tells all of us where he started because he is just such a unique person, yeah, unique play is. style. <laughs> it's so much fun. We're all we're all blessed to have him here. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, I, I I just started with my regiment. Ten hours of for glory every day. Every time I got a stock, I taunted. I always go for misfires. Like this is just where I was bred and born to be a champion. And here we have the very <laughs> efficient color counterfeit. Oh, nice. Going to the true elegant color. Oh, he's now he's not messing around. Yeah, I mean, I'm a fond believer of that. Yeah, the, the color. Oh, look, the misfires already. <laughs> <laughs> That's what makes happens. Sense. <laughs> 
it's those Luigi mains, man. No, only them. Like, even in Brawl, you would watch these Luigi mains, and it's just like, how are you getting so much misfires? Like, only Luigi mains get that much misfires. And even, like, Villager, I'll watch Villagers get, like, I'll watch Arvar get, like, two triple to three turn triple turnips in a row. Yep. And I'm like, this isn't fair. Like, your move's not supposed to be that good that consistently. When you put that much time for Villager, <laughs> you know, the game's to reward you for being so loyal. <laughs> Okay, what's the lead trap here? Man, Charlie's sitting at a lot of percentage, and usually you see Luigi close out the stocks a little earlier. He's got that anti-air up smash as well, which can be pretty troublesome for Pete. Or not Pete, but she Nice. Let's ledge trump back air. Charlie really needs to hold on to his ledge trap right now if he wants to take the stock. And that problem is not perfect, but grabs the ledge, loses his stage control, and this is looking like elegance advantage off throw is going to kill you. Yeah, at that point, a lot of stuff kills him. Once Charlie threw out that grenade, he kind of lost his advantage. Yeah. And I mean, just like a huge call out from Elegant, you know, just knowing that he's going to shield, knowing that he's scared of any kind of hitbox. And yeah, ooh, it's stepping out with an air. So good. He went for that same uh, air dodge. And see, that's the thing, too, about Sheik. Like, even if you do read a roll or react to a roll and you get that dash grab, what do you really get out of it past that 120, 130% mark? Because he has no rage right now, though, he still does have a lot of confirms, or 50-50s at least. Yeah. Especially with, like, Sour Nair, Sour Back Air. Maybe go for this X card here. No, I, I want to let you the council here. Mm. <laughs> the council would be really good. What would Boyd do? What would... <laughs> what would... <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. He didn't oh. do a high... Uh, like, a good enough mash there. And, you know, that is a factor... For Luigi players, that mash is physically exhausting. Yeah, it is not course. easy to do. But an elegant of all players usually just yeah. does it. Yeah. It's, it's very rare that you know, not be able to get it with a proper mash. Yeah, I mean, the only thing I could think of is maybe he thought he was going to land on the smash the platform so he didn't try to mash. Uh, that's like my only thing I could think of. But Charlie doing a really good job getting these resets. Nice. Mm. Jab, jab, down tilt, up smash. And it just, it just looks so cool. With oh, the bouncy fish. And that's no double jump. He can just catch this down B. Charlie's on point right now. Oh, he didn't, he didn't punch the down B, and he had no double jump too. There's no mix up oh, there. Wow. Charlie maybe just not confident enough to get it. Right as I say it, this happened. Nice but elegant. Needed to get back into this game. Oh, no! Oh, he's dead. Oh! oh never mind. Yo, but he's <laughs> he dead! The down B. <laughs> he's dead though. Wow. Good I, job for Charlie, man. I didn't think she was going to make that. Yeah, me neither. I, <laughs> like, I usually don't do that with commentary. Like, oh, he's dead. But, like, it really looked like he was dead. Definitely looked like he was, like he was like, dead. We all know how volatile that down B spike is against a character like Sheik. <laughs> and it, it really looked like he was dead there. And once he grabbed the ledge, immediately ledge dropped down B yeah. and gets that bouncing, bouncing fish. Up a game here, threatening the, uh, the back of reset. The Sheik pick, man. I'm really, like, I uh, respect it. Yeah, and uh, all last season, Charlie pretty much went, like, 90%, 95% Bayonetta. Okay. Um, so, very interesting. I know Elegant particularly does really well against Bales, but he also does really well versus Sheik, too. So I feel like Charlie's the type of person that's just preparing for some assholes. So he knows Bayonetta won't be there. There you go. <laughs> Even if she is there, like, we all saw what happened from, like, Raw Meta Knight to Smash Friday right, Night. Right. We all saw that. Very like, good point. We all know what's happening. Yeah. <laughs> oh! oh. Sour Nair yeah. into that upbeat. Elegant is looking elegant. <laughs> that would have never worked if he wasn't using his proper color. Yes, exactly. The the, the color counter. Charlie knows. I mean, it still wasn't the craziest punish because it's cheap death match, but we all love to see a full charge. <laughs> yeah, why not? That was like 80% charge. We love it. Oh, the one very crazy. Oh, man. Elegant now lapping him in percent. This is not looking good. Yeah, that first Charlie. arc was just so dirty. And elegant definitely wants to get through game five. Set up that sour backer into the bouncing fish, but Elegant, oh, man. Going for this F smash charge. Oh, the trade. Okay, the trade. Oh, okay. Doesn't hit him with the backer, maybe just air dodging just in case. But Elegant did have the jump there for the mix-up. It's going to be very tough for Elegant, or uh, for uh, Charlie's bring this back. Nice tech, though. Yeah, it's going to be a long battle for sure. So, Elegant's just so efficient. You know, once you get to kill percent, he really gets that hard. Just every time. Even without rage right now, he gets that through a lot of stuff. And I really like how Elegant, he'll, he'll mash. Get hit back out, saves his double jump, and instead of just like doing a double jump and getting hit out, he'll double jump and then start charging the side beat. Okay. So it's a mix up of like, when am I going to shoot this side beat? Right, right, right. So it, it's very interesting. Um, 
not a lot of people there. there. Yeah. <laughs> Dang. He, he fully matched so he could get that. For glory nice. shot. <laughs> look at that. You only saw that like out like that in, on for glory. Oh my god. Oh look at you're so rude and we love you for it. <laughs> but 118. Um, like we said, uh, Charlie has a long road ahead of him if he wants to get this done. But one fair, one fair at a time. Man. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what is that, like 5% of the time? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think Fair could stale out to like 2 to 3. <laughs> it gets uh, pretty sad. But <laughs> oh, with the fireball kick, that bouncing pin. Almost got that 2 team forward smash. Yeah. And then Charlie also avoiding that up smash as well. There's a lot of things to avoid here as Charlie. Charlie's on point right now. 155% on Sheik. He's still playing pretty fearlessly. Yeah. It's only uh, a matter of time though before Elegant gets his KO off. We're down to though. Just really staying out of that range of the uh, grab. But he's throwing out some brave aerials because it's right above Luigi's head. And we all know that up smash is quite the deadly. Yeah, we haven't seen any up smashes out of Elegant's control set. It almost seems like this wants to be flash shields instead of just the bread and butter. <laughs> you already know Elegant. Oh man, and this is actually looking kind of scary. You get the max rage on Sheik, doesn't have an offense up throw. Unlucky. All that work just to get up throw and of course, it on. Of course, the taunt. <laughs> Elegance, uh, taunt of choice. The, the triple pose. Which taunt is that? Oh, I, I don't know. Dang, how do I not know I this? I you don't know this. <laughs> I really did. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I failed you. <laughs> okay, I want to say the side taunt is a little like a plank thing. I think it's up taunt because I know down taunt's the kick. Down okay, taunt? Yeah, 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 so okay. it has to be up taunt. There we go. There we go. Process of elimination. There we go. We got you guys. <laughs> Definitely the up taunt, but Elegant still not looking pleased here. Um, we have a game five situation, Omega Suzaku Castle. I know you're not supposed to be biased here, but do you want the bracket reset, or is, are you trying to go home? Uh, I, I live five minutes away, so I'll, I'll I'm I'm always for the people, man. Okay. I want to see a bracket reset. Okay. I want you guys to watch some more hype smash action. Both you. these players are just so good. Yeah, this all these sets up are super fun though. It's like the cast, and I'm sure you guys are going to love it. Oh yeah, and especially like you don't see Charlie bring out the Sheik too often against the uh, the upper echelon of the SoCal PR. Right. So I'm very happy that Charlie has gotten his secondaries up to the point where he can start busting them out versus Elegant, start busting yeah. them out versus Larry. I just realized I mentioned how like he might have needed the Fox to be Elegant, but he's completely wrong here. This Sheik gameplay is very good. Yeah. And uh, here with a percent lead in Game Five. This is his counter pick. Yeah. <laughs> Omega. He's off the castle. And we have like kind of walls set up. Uh, you, I know there's some walls where, especially like when Duck Hunt used to be legal, legal when Luigi would mash him, you could DI toward the wall and then detect. So maybe. Ooh. Dang. What okay. happened, man? Uh, dang, man. It's next game five, you know, grand finals. Is that looking nervous? Running, it's either <laughs> nervous or running out of steam. There is no smashable platform to justify anything there. <laughs> I don't think Elegant that gets nervous. And I don't think he runs out of steam. Either. I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe just Charlie putting on that pressure. Okay. Yeah, even that last game, even though uh, uh, Elegant won it, like Charlie shows that he was prepared to make that comeback. And it was close. Oh yeah, Charlie just maintaining his confidence right now. And even though um, Elegant did win that last uh, game, he was a uh, head shake. Ooh. Nice air dodge. Dude. That is a 50-50, right? The side taunt this time. I, I, I do I do appreciate Elegant. He does like to mix up his taunts as well. He doesn't just do the same one over and over. And that's how you know. Like, like you, got, you got the taunt mix-ups too? Killed Como with the down taunt in tournament. I don't know if you guys forgot. <laughs> How could Como you? or Kiri? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the up air not going to be enough. No rage on Sheik. Air dodge punch though. High air dodge there. Mm. This is his last stock right now. Yeah, right now really threatening this bracket. And you know, we talked about Sheik's confirmed just you know being a little bit more consistent, like most characters with this low rage. But you know, Elegant hooking my man Charlie up with some rage. Going for the drag down up there. I really like it. Stay back forward air. Oh, not again. Not going for that drop down. Not willing to punish that down B. Charlie just gonna opt to stay on stage. Just a safe place here. But this can bite you in the butt if you don't finish your food. Yeah, this is getting to a very scary percent here for Charlie. You can still confirm a few different things. Forward throw. Up there maybe. Again, not hitting that uh, cyclone. But the down smash on the roll doesn't send them to the right though. Now, this is completely an elegant favor for the most part, in my opinion. Um, I'm just losing a 
lot of nerve in the right now. So you know what? You know what a lot of the top players do? They'll save the trump for game five, last off, last game. Okay, that's, that's it. Right. Has to be it. All right. Dang, they, not even gonna do the trump, but yeah, I was trying to hard call it out there. <laughs> <laughs> Elegant. Realizing Ooh. right now he has to dig deep. Charlie brought his A game tonight. Charlie just looked into the camera. Survival. Show me those eyes, Charlie. <laughs> eyes of determination. Uh, three hours ago, I was walking into the venue and I saw Charlie. I don't even know him like that. I was like, hey, Charlie, you winning tonight? And he <laughs> says, yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, let's see if it could come to fruition here. Yep, he's gonna get in set. And this is the man that sent him into losers. So he got the win on him. And now it's just going to come down to this last set. This is elegant we're talking about. And you just forced him to play on another set. He might be angry. And he's not even starting the set. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. This, this, this is probably coming to set. <laughs> Game one. At the same time, Charlie's using Void Sheik. It doesn't matter. That up is going to kill. Uh, yeah, that's... Uh, you, uh, you vanish high like that. If you give uh, Elegant some time, you definitely get that up B and ooh, ooh, the reset, calling out that shield. Come on, that down B, the hitbox is so big. It, it is really laggy, but and you, you already know Elegant up a stock. Sorry, that misfire, though. This is very tough for Sheik, because she's one of those players who uh, do this first stock. It's always an uphill battle. Yes. Uh, she, she suffers so much from rage, being a light character. Yeah, it's very. It can be. Um, it can snowball against your favorite. Oh, man. Elegant, just already lapping Charlie the King in percentage. Oh, gets the sour. Ooh, and see, like you could have gone for bouncing fish there, but it wouldn't have killed. So I, I respect Charlie going for that up smash, trying yeah. to end the stock. You want to be but yeah. Ooh, okay. Charlie, right back in it right now, but okay. Ooh, I like the movement though. Baron on that shield and going right through and then coming back in for the grab. Charlie's moving and wow, that air trade reacting to it immediately. Double jump up B and like, as you were saying before, there's certain mashes that punish certain things. And right there, that was like one of those mid mashes yes, that, yes. that caught the. Uh, did he air dodge? I, I think he just did it. He just like, did it off just, the air. He, he I think he caught his double jump there and. One thing that's really interesting too, you can smash the eye down to get out of that. Okay. But that's why Elegant doesn't mash too hard. Exactly. He, like you said, he did that mid mash because he wants to stay in that area. And Charlie tried to smash the eye down, but not going to work there. Elegant already knowing the counter counter play. Oh, but down, up, down, <laughs> all around. And we got 53%. Mm. We got Jump Stay on the side doing the Elegant combo dance. <laughs> But already 69% number. Oh man, we got perfect shields on deck. We are reading these neutral airs. Oh, oh that bounce. I thought that would confirm, but yeah. Oh, going high. I, I definitely like Charlie. Like, you could have just got a grab there, but he tried to set up into a sour nair. Like, yeah, for sure. That up smash, not the connect. Definitely something Elegant's been more reserved with. I mean, maybe it's just such a common option. He does. Oh! And I, was, I was just gonna say, that I feel like this is one of those pivotal <laughs> moments in the set where like Charlie needs to get that kill. Yes, and he does. Let's see if he can get some extra credit here on Elegant. Yeah, the bounce is on the tippy top. Man. Yeah. Nice up smash. Yeah, punishing that jump. Yeah, Good really call out there from Elegant. <laughs> And just as we say Elegant's being like kind of reserved with it, he, he just shows it like, yeah, I can still do this option, <laughs> like, really good. Oh, the double jump air dodge can be pretty risky, but Charlie throwing out that hitbox. Dang. Dash that guy's gonna save. It was on purpose, but he's gonna run with it. Oh, man, and that shield pressure from that neutral is so deadly, but Charlie's still able to come out with the down tilt. Tries to reset with the bouncing fish. <laughs> we are seeing these rolls. Yeah, I mean, Elegant's putting on that pressure right now. Ever since the beginning of this game, uh, beginning of the set, I should say. Like, Elegant just come out on fire. He's very upset that he has to play the second set. Right? He's forced to. Pretty safe option there because he can drift back to the ledge. Not putting yourself in the favorable position, but you can get a stock. Man, it looks uh, pretty cool. So, he needs to wing his way back on the stage, but the tornado. Yeah, that kill. Ooh. Huge. <laughs> this is very huge right now for Charlie. If he goes down 2-0, his chances are 
are very slim that he wins this tournament. Yeah. He's able to take this stock. Okay, so damage there. And then getting caught by that YOLO down B. Uh, Elliot here calling it out. The back throw should do it here. All right. Like I said, Elegant's angry. Yeah, I I don't know if you see a character switch coming out. Charlie, I still feel like a sheep could do it. Yeah, um, no, at this point, he's committed to the sheep. He, he's had a great showing with it. And I'm not sure who he used in the winner's bracket when he lost to Elegant. The box he and and he, he won the last set with sheep. Yeah. So I feel like the right call here is to stick with Stick with your guns. You know you can do it with Sheik. It's, it's happened in like the last like 30 minutes. Oh, yo! <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta bust up the bail. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Elgin definitely adapted to the Sheik. Immediately coming into that, that this set, taking two games. And, uh, at this point, Charlie no longer trying the Sheik. Gonna pull out the bayonetta, and as you said, it's very practice. Yeah, we went all season. Um, oh man! So. But that smash the eye down. And one thing, um, Sheik does get comboed pretty hard from Luigi, but they will get comboed even harder. Oh, off the top though, really good DI coming out. We see this Witch Twist. Charlie is having a hard time converting off the Witch Twist one. The smash the eye is really good. Yeah, I feel like Elegant is one of those things that kill it. Because that's the eye definitely not playing. Does he jump though? He doesn't. He saves him. He, ha he had Charlie to Charlie have a choice? He, yeah, he, he, had, he didn't have okay, a choice. Okay. Because he didn't tech that side B. If he teched that side B, it would have been a dead Luigi. But that's where Bayo really has to abuse Luigi off stage. Ooh, Ooh, wow. Great DI there. You can see him shoot to the left. And Charlie would have definitely died there if he hadn't held left. That was an amazing DI. Tech chase? Ooh, it doesn't get that sweet spot back air. Oh, no, no tech. tech. Back air? Jump to the forward. <gasps> Charlie trying to reverse that up B, but Elegant was able to SDI up and just fall right out. Okay, the witch time. <laughs> okay. Oh no! Oh no! He's Elegant alive! He's back. alive! Still had his down B, oh, and that was man. just such that an was unfortunate <laughs> series of events. That, that was, was like. All I could say. That was. <sighs> that was the most tragic tense. It was like long and drawn out too. Yeah. Like, like, oh no! That was oh, so good too. He got, he got the witch time. He, yeah. He did the ledge cling. Got the nair, but then. Elegant coming out on top. Does that go here? No. I guess no rage. Wispy going him right off there. Oh, man. You know, when, when your character almost has those kill confirms at <laughs> 160. But no redraft. Okay, the Nair. Gonna close right. it out here for Charlie. We've been right. questioning Charlie's resolve all night. Uh, let's see if he can take this game three. Yep. I mean, reverse thrills, they always start. In the game number three, you guys, it's one step at a time. But is Elegant going to make that a possibility? Going for the tomahawk there, Charlie getting that grab off the reaction. I respect going for the witch twist there. Um, when you start a witch twist that high up in the air, the chances of killing if they don't SD out is uh, pretty high. Oh man, we got the reverse. Ooh, he's trying to set up for that forward smash there, trying to catch that uh, oh, 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 A, hey, and we're gone. Oh, no. no! Oh, but he, <laughs> what, what? <laughs> I was like, what do you do there? No charge. <laughs> yeah. That's the raw smash. Oh, this could be it. Ooh, really good smash. Oh, and again yeah. with the triple jump. And he gets the punish right there. <laughs> the grab. <laughs> Elegance SDI is actual. Yes. Um, it's really hard, to, especially that wish was number two as well. He SDI'd that brilliantly. The back air. Man, pretty much a last dog, last hit situation. <laughs> oh. Oh, he got the misfire, though. Oh, oh that was so... Clutch! Don't even act like that. <laughs> that's, that's he's good! Jump. Oh! He's not good! And that's it. <laughs> Elegant's gonna take hat number 17, right? Yeah, I mean, not a lot of characters can say, oh yeah, Bayo, like, I get that. <laughs> back to back down B spikes. <laughs> yeah. Great job by Elegant. And as I said, he lost that first set and he didn't want to. Yeah. It went all the way to game five and playing with a purpose in that second set takes the 3 0. Yeah. Really solid stuff, and the Bayo almost bringing back a very unfortunate. I felt like the switch to Bayo was really good, and you know Charlie's ability to switch in between characters and play that well versus someone like Elegant. Yeah. Very, uh, I give a lot of props to that. Mm -hmm. I really respect that, and I mean just an unfortunate SD to start it off, but even yeah. still, then he still brought it back, and you know still had that resolve you were talking about.